And what does the federal government have for us today? Hmm, all the goodies they have pending with the regulations.gov. These are either notices or final, final draft guidances or just a draft guidance or notices or whatever that go into the Federal Register. Let's share them. So we're going from newer to older. So they have one that's pending. Interpretation of and compliance policy for certain label requirement, applicability of certain federal food, drug, and cosmetic act requirements through vape shops, guidance for industry guidance. Now, most of these things I have covered already, so I don't really have to go into it, but the comment period is open. Let's take a look at that, see what's going on with that, shall we? No one submitted any comments. Hmm. Yes, the comment period's open, but no one submitted any comments. Hmm, that's good, I guess. Probably the, nobody cares. Request for extension from our alternate client services and John Middleton Company. Hmm, let's see what that is. Hmm, no one cares about either of that. No comments received. It's really nothing to do with us. And then another one, this one is closed. This, this, uh, this is one of the draft, and this over here, this here is the, where the mouse is at. Mouse, ah, mouse, ah, wah. mouse is at. Sometimes I speak too slow. I, I can't keep up my own mind. The, this here where the mouse is at is the final draft guidance. And this over here is actually the draft guidance. That's so what's going on there. It's the same thing as up there. Let's see what kind of stuff's been over here. Zero comments. Mm, comment period's closed. Some of, it, of internal analysis from way four of the population assessment of tobacco and health path study. Comment period closed. Zero comments. You would think CASA or the Vapor Technology Association or the American Vaping Association or SAFADA or any of these assholes, assholes would actually have, you know, for most, if not all of this, kept the um, either the vaping industry or the so-called community up to date with this shit so you can participate. But apparently no one's really participating in any of this shit. Now, here's one, modic modifications to compliance policy for certain deemed tobacco products. Guidance for industry. 74 comments received. Wow, out of 11 million American vapors? Wow, you guys are doing really well. Hmm, I was a smoker for 20 years, beginning at the age of nine. Continuing until 35 years ago, I made a, arguably one of the best decisions of my life. I am retailer of alternative nicotine delivery systems in a rural town in Northern Maryland. I have been in business since March 2017. Okay, but those 74 comments. Wow. Well, they're really batting average now is really good. And the comments are due by April 15th, 2019. That's what the shitheads over on the NVO network was talking about. And then eliminating youth electronic cigarette and other tobacco product use, the role for drug therapies. This comment section was closed with zero comments. This is in regards to uh, nicotine replacement therapies. Big Pharma has been given the green light to create an ENDS product. What does ENDS mean? Hmm. Could it mean electronic nicotine delivery system, just like something like a jewel or something like that? Vapor Technology Association, e-cigarette, HTS 8543709940. This comment period is closed. What did they have to talk about? Oh, exclusion request for product covered under HTS subheading. All right. Okay, and this was submitted by Tony Abood. 
Very nice. And he got zero comments. No one paid attention, apparently, to that asshole. All right. And then another one. Well, zero comments again for Tony Abood. He really accomplished a lot with this fucking thing, whatever the hell he was doing. Ingredients listing guidance, November 6, 2018. The comments, you can, it's, it's open. Let's take a look. We have zero comments. Zero comments. Ingredient listings guidance. Hmm. Apparently that doesn't matter to anyone, does it? Mm-hmm. Okay. The flavors, advanced notice post rulemaking, track changes, tab B of direction to add documents to the docket in accordance with executive order 12866. Period has closed on that with zero comments. No one had anything to say about flavors. Wow. Remember that with the um, Dr. Forcilinos? Mm, I even supported that. No comments. Registration of product listing for owners and operators of domestic tobacco product establishments. Revised guidance for industry. The docket is open. And zero comments again. Oh, no. It can't be. It can't be happening to us. No, please, please don't. No, listing of ingredients in tobacco products, guidance for industry. The docket is open. Has two comments. Two comments. Wow, out of 11 million Americans. American vapors. Wow. Who's saying? Is say, say, someone saying something there? Let's see. Let's see these two comments. See if we can even open that the fuck up. Ooh, authors are of the Center for Tobacco Products. Sure, more detail. Hmm. It's not allowing us to read comments. Usually they have it like, oh, here we go. Leave us former cigarette smokers alone. Those of us who have switched from multi-carcinogenic tobacco cigarette to the one or <laughs> FDA should revise its April 2018 revision of its guidance on listing of ingredients. And they're talking. They're talking now. and But there are only two comments. Regulation of flavors and tobacco products. Common period closed. Closed. Ooh, look at that. Now, this was in regards to the whole Dr. Forcelino's thing. Remember the regulation of flavors? Got 525,424 comments on this. Hmm. No, oh, that's good. That's about, what, 11? So you got 11 million. So that would be about 5% of the American vapors actually responded. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad at all on that one. Will stop a flavor ban? Probably not. We're probably going to have some kind of limited flavor ban. If not across the board flavor ban, we shall see. The way it reads, like I said in the other video, was certain... Tobacco products, certain. So whatever the certain means will be determined by the FDA CTP. Registration of product listing for owners and operators of domestic tobacco products establishments. Revised guidance for industry. The comment period is open. Zero comments. Zero comments. No. That cannot be. That is open. All right. Request to participate from Flavor Art North America Incorporated. We think do it yourself or die would be interested in this. Period. Comment period closed with zero comments. 
you would think at least maybe something here would be maybe a comment from do it yourself or die, but nothing. Oh, that's a real letdown. Request for participation from Alternative Ingredients Incorporated. Hmm. Zero comments and comment period is closed. This is a while ago though. This is a long while ago and no one participated in that. Registration product listing for owners and operators of domestic tobacco product establishments. Revised guidance for industry. This is open. This is open. This is open with zero comments. Zero comments. I guess the vape shop owners out there don't want to participate. Okay. Fla uh, clarification of when products made or derived from tobacco are regulated as drugs, devices, or combination products. Amendments to regulations regarding intended uses. Comment period closed with zero comments. There was so much participation in all of this stuff. It's amazing. Amazing race. Amazing for us. Ooh. Hmm. I guess I don't really have to go too, too much over this. Agency information collection activities, proposals, submissions, and approvals. Tobacco product manufacturing facility visits. Hmm. 17, 17 comments on this. This is, this is when they were actually doing um, Center for Tobacco Products were visiting manufacturing plants. I was a bit against something like that, but you know, apparently I'm sure some facilities allowed that to happen. See, manufacturing facility visits they want to check you out man ends products they want to see man they want to see request for participation man uh, uh. oh this is actually the fda final rule in regard to vaping remember that anyone remember that Apparently, there was zero comments on that. Hmm. I suppose it was over 10,000 comments. I don't know what happened to them. This is the, the FDA. FDA final rule regards to vaping. Pre-market tobacco. Uh, product application for electronic to boom, boom, and boom, boom. You can comment on this one. Five comments on that? This is in regards to the PMTA, if you want to comment. We're trying to find some kind of, um, like a standard as to, uh, not, they're not necessarily streamlining the PMTA, but they're going to try to figure out a, a way to, um, what to expect. Well, let's say when you submit your PMTAs in a submission to the FDA, what um what does the f what um how, how to word this how the vaping industry um the fda is going to break it down so the vaping industry understands what the fda is looking for five comments on that And this one here, the other deeming. This is the actual, wow, look at that. April 25th, 2014, this is when the proposed rule goes in there. Now, here you go. This is the one. So in the proposed rule, 37,928,000, well over 10,000 comments. There are only about 500 comments that were in the FDA final rule regarding vaping. 
and they disagreed with about 97% of them. Yeah, and this is the proposed rule. See, the proposed, proposed rule over here where the mouse is at. See? Yeah, I remember this quite well. In 2015, I actually submitted three comments, not that it mattered. My comment would be in here somewhere. I would have to look. I, I have, um, when you submit a co comment, the um, the FDA actually um, sends uh, a copy to you in, in your email of your comment. Let me see if I can find my comment. One, one second here, see if I can find it. Uh, I was able to find one of them. It was in regards to uh, battery standards, but um, I could put in the word. Let me. I'll put in the word and I'll share it with you what I I shared. I it just uh, some uh, information in there I don't want to share with you guys. But let me put it into a word document and show you what I did on the. Um, they had the battery standard um, workshop, and I submitted a a um, comment on that. So this is one thing I shared with the FDA. Um, I can't find the old ones I have. I, if I really looked, I could pull, pull up those three comments in regards to the FDA, uh, the uh, proposed rule, but I can't find it. But I, I found this one here. It was just with the Federal Register published on January 4, 2017. It's a comment I, I left. I said, I would like to share with you an excellent YouTube video on battery explosions and or safety. Uh, suck by mod YouTube channel or Matt gave me permission that I may share his video with you, the FDA. The video is only 15 minutes and 37 seconds long. I believe very strongly that after you watch this video, will have it will have quite a profound effect on the FDA in regards to its regulating batteries. Thank you and good day. The YouTube link will, will bring you FDA directly to suck by mod Matt channel to the video entitled E-Sig Explosions, What the News Doesn't Tell You. And I give the link. That was uh, that was good. That was, oh, wow, that was a long time ago. Anyway, let me I'll pause this. I I have my comments written somewhere else, but I um I could pull it up here, but I it'll take me so long to do. I don't know. It's 37,000 of them. But it didn't amount for diddly crap. Look what they did with the FDA final rule. All those comments, and they took that FDA final rule and pretty much stuck it right up our rear end. So these comments don't, you have to understand, these are, this is just part of the process that every federal agency must go through. It's not just the FDA, it's EPA, FCC, whatever. When they're doing a final rule, they have to go through this process. It's a, a part of the Administrative Procedures Act. It's an act of Congress. So they have to go through these steps in order to get to that final rule. Once they go through this step, that is including public comment, nothing in the Administrative Procedures Act states that the FDA or you know EPA or whatever it may be, whatever federal agency there may be, there's nothing in the Administrative Procedures Act that states that the let's in our particular case the FDA has to agree with any of the comments or support any of the comments. There's nothing in the Act of Congress that says that. All it says is that they must have it for co public comment. That's it. It's just part of the process. That's why I don't submit these comments anymore because it's useless. It's a, it's a joke. And anyone does, like the NVR network sort of prompting people to submit comments, they're full shit. It, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. It's just part of the process. It's a, it's a con. It's not, well, it's not a con. It appears like it's a con, but it's not a con. It's just something that the federal agency must complete in order to get to the end result, which is the final rule. So anyway, I want to share all the stuff that's pending here in regards to flavors and vape as far as the key word is concerned. So anyway, I just want to share what's going on so you know all kinds of goodies are in the works for us with the Federal Register. Some are in just, some are just draft guidances and some are actual final draft guidances. And once they get past that final draft guidance, 
then um, then they will uh, be, uh, begin working on the final rule itself. And then the process is then they go to the OMB with it, and if the OMB approves of it or can delete portions of it or even add wordage to it, and then once, let's say, you know, the OMB, the Office of Management and Budget, actually agrees with every single word in that final rule, then um, then it's submitted to the Federal Register. It'll appear on the website, but still not law yet. And then once it goes into Federal Register, which is usually within a week's time, then uh, then it's law. And then then you have certain effective dates will kick into place. Um, they could do a staggered timeline, so over a certain amount of dates, things kick into place, like with the uh, FDA final rule in regards to vaping. Or they can have it all become effective within 90 days. Normally, what they have to do with final rules is they have to at least give Congress 60 days to respond to it. And if, we, and if Congress does not respond to the final rule, then it becomes effective. Normally, how it works is it becomes effective 30 days after Congress does not act within that 60 days. So usually it's 90 days. It can be shorter than that, but normally it's uh, 90 days. And then it becomes effective on whatever date may, may be. And then after that, um, it could be a staggered timeline or everything kicks into place on the, on the effective date. So that's how the process works anyway. Once it goes into the Federal Register, whatever final rule it may be, then automatically you can challenge that in a court of law, whatever it may be. But, you know, to challenge any of this stuff, any of these final rules, like do it yourself or die, is like, oh, we're going to challenge these rules when they come out. Well, you know, it's full shit. No. It, it, the time has passed and gone. It's... We are really going under. I mean, we are slowly imploding. It's funny. I used to go and visit, not visit, I used to buy from Sweet Vapes. That's sweetvapes.com. I wanted to go buy some coils from them uh, tonight and, or last night actually. And they had actually closed. They're in, from Wisconsin. I haven't gone to the website in, I don't know, about maybe two, three months. I go to the website and it's, they're permanently closed. That sh that vape shop was open since like, God, since like 2013, 2014. And all of a sudden they closed. I mean, that's what's good. That's pretty much what's going to happen. It's a shame because they always had very reasonable prices. Anyway, I just want to share all this stuff that's pending. And I mean, I spoke to them all, well, most of them, I'd say not 80, 90% of them already. I spoke to them, went in depth in Zoom with them because I received in the emails from the FDA, all this stuff. But I just want to show you on one page, all this stuff pending against us. And eventually all this stuff's going to hit the fan and it's not going to feel too good when it's scattered everywhere. Anyway, uh, anyway, that's, I think, it for me tonight. And time for me to go to Betty Buys. Anyway, you guys have a good one if you can. And bye-bye. Uh,